Hey everybody, welcome back to Robert's Rental Project. My name is Robert and in this video I'll be reviewing this Gorilla Dump Cart. I bought this, it is not sponsored or affiliated so you'll get my honest review from it. I got it at Lowe's and it'll be linked in the description below. It is a 7 cubic foot poly dump cart and it's labeled to help you work more efficiently with less effort as it says on the box but we'll be testing that out and you'll see me use it in different videos and projects on here so you get the the first scoop on how it actually works but for now I need to build it so it's simple instructions it comes with all the necessary bolts and screws that you need but you will need a way of connecting the nuts to the bolts there's a lot of them so you gotta put some work in but once you got the frame all done up you attach the wheels and these are detachable you can just take them off if you need to get them replaced or if you want to get the flat free ones these are the pneumatic tires, which means that they take an air like any other regular tire on your bikes or on your cars. That does mean that they can get punctured and they can get a flat. So I might be changing them in future with the flat free ones that they sell on Amazon, which I will link to down below. So that you guys can see those and make a decision for yourselves. This is the locking mechanism to make sure that your car doesn't tip over and dump unexpectedly. And it's just a little handle on here. This one requires four connecting points. You connect them from the back and just screw them in. on here which is your handle that goes on easily with this last screw the only thing I don't like about this is that your handle drops very fast onto the ground if you let it go and if you don't prop it up so when you're dumping or filling it up or things like that it'll just fall to the ground so I fear that it might damage it, but we'll see what happens. So now that these are pneumatic tires, I'm going to use a little air pump filler thing I got this as a gift but I'll also put it in the description down below and it's a little portable tire inflator or for basketballs or any things that need air to fill up it's really easy it's rechargeable as it it's Makita it has a little battery with a screen and it tells you the PSI and it lets you choose how much PSI to put in your tires always read your tires before you fill them up to make sure that you don't make them explode or underfill them then you'll have a really wonky cart these ones were up to 25 psi i think so just fill them all up to there and i think that they use pneumatic tires to make your carts less bumpy and to make the carts less bumpy and a smoother ride
this is how the cart dumps and it looks really easy feels really easy when nothing's in there but I have found that it is a bit hard to pull up yourself when you have it full because all the weights just reliant on you pulling that small handle it doesn't have any help to it so I would suggest if you're hauling rocks or dirt or things like that you don't fill it up to full capacity or if you're really really strong you could do that but it would still be really hard to put it up to dump the things out this is the other little gorilla cart that I have this one, one of the tires has a flat on it, so I just switch out one of the new tires to this one. And this one can be made to not have any walls on it, so it'll just be completely flat. And that's really cool when you're hauling pavers or long things. Or like this cement bird bath that I got here at Lowe's too. And I would suggest this one as well. I'll put it in the description below. I got this one for free from a neighbor, so they were really cool. I have grown to like both of these cards, it makes life so much easier. And if you have any big things to haul around or things that are you or things that you're doing repeatedly, little carts like this make life so much easier and easier on your back. So I would suggest that you get one and feel free to check them out down below. That's a wrap on this review. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below with any questions, comments, or concerns, or any video ideas that you'd like me to shoot in upcoming days. Hit the notification button to be notified when I post another video with helpful little things like this that'll improve your gardening experience and your small home DIYs. Thank you, and see you in the next one.